Hello, I'm Helen Keeble. I'm the author of Fangirl, which is a young adult paranormal comedy which just came out this week. It's available to buy now. It's about a teenage girl who has always been a very big fan of vampire fiction, who writes fanfic, she's been involved in online communities, and she unexpectedly wakes up and discovers one night that she is a real vampire now, and it is not at all as she was expecting. Now, what I'd like to do for you today is read you a couple of pages from the book. In this scene, our uh, hero, Xanthi Jane, or Jane as she's known to everybody, um, has been chased by a couple of vampire hunters and uh, has been cornered by them. They have guns and things are looking grim, but fortunately help is to hand. So, I will have to explain that um, one of the characters in this scene is meant to have a very exotic French accent. And as you can probably tell, I am not French, so I strongly apologise to all French-speaking people in the audience. Cease! We all jumped, my attackers whirling round. Someone stood poised on the roof of the parked Range Rover, silhouetted against the starry sky. In a breathtaking arc, he leaped ten feet, landing crouched in the middle of the road. He unfurled to his full height, his velvet frock coat billowing around him, the moonlight turning his hair to pure silver. His high cheekboned, elegant face was set in an expression of icy determination. As he faced my stunned attackers, his lips drew back in a contemptuous snarl, exposing jagged, sharp-edged teeth. He was another vampire. His pale eyes flicked to me. Run, ma chérie, he said. His voice was as light and golden as honey, with a rich French accent that made the simple phrase sound like an invitation to unspeakable and moral delights. Please imagine that bit. He dropped into a combat crouch, empty hands spread. I shall take care of these... And that was as far as he'd got, because as my attackers had been conveniently distracted by his appearance, I punted them fifteen feet down the road. I hadn't actually intended to do so. I'd only hoped to knock them off balance to give my unexpected rescuer an opening. After all, the dramatic pose was no match for two guns. So I'd shoved them with all the strength I could muster. Which, as it turned out, was quite a lot of strength. Quick! I yelled as they skidded away, trailing shots of swear words. I dashed past the suddenly slack-jarred vampire. Get them before they escape! One of my attackers was already rolling to his feet. Without thought, my blood roaring in my veins, I leaped for him. We crashed back to the ground, him flailing, me desperately trying to work out some way to subdue him. I grabbed for his hair, yanking upward with the vague thought of slamming his skull back down against the road. I'd forgotten my vampire strength again. I shrieked, reaching a high enough pitch to stun bats. I flung the severed head away with all my strength. Ah! I hopped from foot to foot, overcome with utter squeak. Shh, hush, it's all right. The other vampire's hands captured my flailing wrists. Xanthe! Lights were coming on in the nearest house. With a quick look around, he grabbed the corpse by the back of its collar. Quick, back here! He dragged us both into the shadow of a garage. After a few moments, the lights clicked off again, leaving us in darkness. I felt the tension in the vampire's muscles ease. Well, that went differently. I managed to get enough of a grip on myself to speak, although my voice came out in a Mickey Mouse squeak. Is he dead? Is he dead? The vampire looked down at the headless corpse. Yes, he said. He is very, very dead. He cleared his throat. You must be wondering who I am. My legs didn't want to support me any more. I sat down hard. But what happened to the other guy? I believe that he has fled, rather understandably. Now my name... Oh God, he escaped! Even though I didn't need to breathe, I was starting to hyperventilate. Is he coming back? No, the vampire said firmly, catching my hands between his own. Because I will not let him. I'm here to protect you. I looked at him. I looked down at the corpse. I looked at him. Ah, uh, he appeared mildly embarrassed. I can also help you dispose of the bodies. Okay, I said, still feeling a bit shell-shocked. You sound very useful. Um, who are you exactly? He let go of my hand and stood, clearing his throat again. In life, I was the Comte Ebenet Bellefleur. Now I am simply Ebenet de Sanguine. He bowed deeply, sweeping back his long black frock coat with perfect grace, as though this was his customary attire. I would be pleased if you would call me Ebon. I have come to bring you home. 
The best I could muster was a heartfelt, huh? I was lagging about two minutes behind this conversation. I kept thinking of that horrible crunch through my hands. I must apologize deeply from the bottom of my soul that it has taken so long for us to send one of the blood to welcome you, Evan said, somehow managing to enunciate the capitalization on blood. I must confess that we were unprepared for your transfiguration. Once again, I could hear the capitals clanging into place. But I can assure you that you will be as a treasured jewel among us. I'm not quite sure what's happened to his French accent here. Sorry about that. Now, my chérie, we must make haste. His face turned serious, and he held out a long, white-fingered hand. This place is not safe. As you have discovered, the hunters are closing in. I will protect you with my very life, but I cannot hold this place secure for long. You must come. I stared at him, and he didn't become any less real. There was an actual gorgeous vampire aristocrat in front of me, vowing to lay down his life in my defense. All I had to do was take his hand. Or, to put it another way, a very strange man with predator's teeth wanted to get me alone. Well, I said firmly, then you're coming home to meet my parents. Now, that's a little snippet of Fangirl, available in all good bookstores and also as an ebook on the Nook, Kindle, iPad, whatever else you want, in fact. It's available in US and Canada. I'm Helen Keeble and I hope you've enjoyed this.